So once again, I'm on an empty aircraft uh, It's our shoulder season, so we tend to have a lot of flights where we're only taking people home in our shoulder season, and this is one of those. Today I thought I'd take the opportunity to go through some free flight checks with you and show you some of the things we do prior to takeoff. Now what we have here is one of our overhead bins that's dedicated for emergency equipment. And then here we have a, a manual demo kit. A, the yellow patch there has oxygen masks. And to go with those oxygen masks here we have oxygen canis, uh, oxygen cylinders. Now the oxygen cylinders, these ones particularly are used in the event of a decompression, although if we have to we can also use them for first aid purposes. So I'm going to take one of these right out and show you what the pre-flight check is on one of these. So the first pre-flight check for these things is we make sure that they are at a minimum of 1500 PSI, which you can see here we are meeting the minimum requirement on this particular model. The green uh, caps there are dust caps, so we make sure those are in place. Uh, in use we would put our oxygen masks in there. Of course we want to make sure that the valve is off and that we have this green guitar style strap attached as well. And that's it, and normally we'll do the pre-flight check without removing it from storage, but for the sake of showing you this model, I wanted to take it right out. So we'll start with the first aid kit here. The pre-flight check on the first aid kit is really simple. Just make sure those green seals are in place. If the green seals are there, that means the first aid kit has not been accessed since the last time it was checked and that means that it's good to go. If the seals are yellow, that means somebody's used it, but it still meets the minimum requirements. And if the seals are not there, then we'd have to open up the bin and make sure that everything is present. Over here we have our megaphone, used in the event of an emergency, for an evacuation, for, or if perhaps we need to talk to everyone, and the interphone is not working. Please light checks to squeeze the trigger. Makes a clicking sound, that means the battery is charged, and we're good to go, for sure. Fire extinguisher is another simple pre-flight check. We need to make sure that the needle here is in the green zone. The metal pin and the red seal are in place and intact. And that the nozzle is clear of obstruction. Of course you want to make sure that the fire extinguisher is present and secure, which you can see is safely clasped in place. And we have the pre-flight check on our jump seat, which has to be done prior to every flight, just like any other uh, pre-flight check. On the jump seat, we need to make sure that when we pull down the seat itself, it has to be self-stowing, so if we stand up, it re-stows. And the seatbelt straps, when pulled lightly, come all the way down, but we have to make sure that if tugged, they must lock. And of course, we need to make sure there's no fray in the strap as well. Underneath the seat, we have more emergency equipment. You can see the flashlight there with the little red light at the front. That light will blink every 10 seconds or sooner. If it takes longer than 10 seconds, then that means the battery is not adequately charged. There's an exception to that. If it's extremely cold weather and the aircraft is being cold, it may be slightly slower. We have our crew life jackets, our checklists. In case we forget to do any checks, we can always refer to those checklists. And we have the smoke hood which we can put on in the event of a fire so we continue breathing while fighting the fire. Pre-flight checks here so make sure that this locking clamp is in place and that the seal, the yellow seal inside, is not broken. It's also important to make sure that this is present and secure, and secure means having this strap tightly around the, uh, down around the smoke hood. Alright, and that's the jump seat pre-flight checks.